Hi there and welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough stuffing and this can be done with your own homemade sourdough bread or you can always purchase sourdough bread at the store but you want a nice crusty rustic loaf of sourdough bread. So the first things you're going to need are a pound of the sourdough bread loaf, half a cup of butter, fourth a cup of olive oil, two and a half cups of yellow onion that needs to be diced as well as two cups of celery. We're gonna go ahead and chop those, along with five cloves of garlic minced, two tablespoons of fresh sage chopped, two tablespoons of fresh rosemary chopped, two tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped, and two and a half cups of chicken stock. Finally, you'll also need one egg, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and then whatever herbs you'd like to garnish it with, this can be some rosemary, parsley, whatever you prefer. Fresh herbs look really great on top of this. So the first thing you're gonna do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna spray a two quart dish with nonstick spray and cut the sourdough into three fourths inch chunks. Go ahead and toss the bread onto one to two sheet pans in a single layer and bake that bread for 15 minutes in the oven. This is just gonna get it nice and crisp that way it doesn't get too soggy when you're adding in your chicken stock. So the next thing you're gonna do while that bread toast is add the butter and olive oil to a 12 inch skillet and go ahead and melt that over medium heat. Once that's melted, you're gonna add in the onions, celery, a pinch of salt, and cook this until the onions are translucent and tender. That usually takes about six minutes on medium to high heat. So we're gonna go ahead and get that all cooked and then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and add in your garlic and herbs. So you're gonna cook that for about another minute and then remove it all from the heat there. So we are just finishing up cooking that. And then once that's cooked, just set it aside, remove it from the heat, and then go ahead and grab a bowl and add your egg and chicken stock. You're going to put that in one bowl. In a separate bowl, you're gonna place the toasted bread, onion and herb mixture, chicken stock mixture, and the salt and pepper. So we are gonna just lightly fold that together. That way our bread gets nice and soft. And that's what you're gonna do in the bowl. And then you're gonna start pressing that bread down, the coated bread, into the baking dish that you prepared earlier. So as you press that down, you want to firmly press it because we're going to fit all of this stuffing into that baking dish. So the most important thing is remember to get all that bread coated. So now I've got that pressed down firmly into this pan and I'm going to add some extra herbs. So that's what I've done on top here. And then I'm just going to bake this for 45 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want, you can tint it with foil so that the top doesn't get browned faster if you prefer and then just take that foil off within the last five minutes. But it's totally up to you. I typically do it without foil. So again, up to you on that. Once it's done, it's gonna come out like this delicious stuffing casserole. Your guests are gonna love it. This one is perfect for Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, any holiday, um, or just if you need a side dish with your homemade sourdough bread. So that's how you make sourdough bread stuffing. You can find this full recipe over on mommyhatescooking.com. And I hope you like and subscribe so that you do not miss the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in today.